Hi Glamour, I'm Alessandra Ambrosio and I'm here to talk about my life, my career, and my new book, Alessandra by Stuart Shining. But first, let me change. So I chose this outfit because it reminds me when I first moved to the US. I was 17 when I moved to New York. I was constantly running around doing castings and I wanted to look cool, look fashionable and still be comfortable. So when I was young, I was like around 12, 13, uh, there was like this uh, sculptor in my hometown that he was doing modeling classes. and. He was pretty much teaching me like how to walk on the runway, how to pose, how to have like a good posture. You know, I used to look at pictures of the big models, like the supermodels back then, and they were all doing these amazing shows all over the world. I knew that I just didn't want to stay in my home country. So I was like, when I turned 17, I, I decided to, to move to New York. So when I first moved to the US, it was winter. It was like January 98. I was really cold. I was running around. I never really been on the subway before and I barely spoke any English. So it was pretty hard, but I had a group of friends from Brazil there. It was very challenging, but I knew what I wanted to do. So I was, you know, I was just going after my dream. Stuart Shining was one of the first photographers I met when I moved to New York. And I went to his studio. He took a Polaroid of me, and then he booked me for a magazine cover. I didn't know that many photographers back then, but I knew that me and him had this connection. When I was young, I remember a lot of people say, give attitude to the camera. And I'm like, what is attitude? I'm like, what is this people talking about? <laughs> and I feel like now, I just know what attitude means. It, and it's really just something inside you that it's like the confidence and knowing what you're there for. Okay, let's get to the next look. So this outfit reminds me of my Victoria's Secret days. Very glamorous, a lot of bling, and all these moments I've had throughout my career full of glamours and red carpets and appearances. Very fun time. When I just started shooting with Stuart, we were like shooting for Victoria's Secret and they wanted to start a new line, a younger line full of energy and fun. So we started shooting for Pink and we shot for three years in a row. That's when they recruit me to be an angel. That's when they gave me my first con contract. They were like my big family. We were, I was traveling with them all the time, everywhere, and you truly feel like a princess, like the way they treat you. It's really nice. So my early days at Victoria's Secret, my first show, I was 19. And uh, for me, it wasn't a lot of pressure back then. I feel like every year it got more pressure because you get more visible. But in the beginning, it was just fun. My first show, we went to the Cannes Film Festival and all these supermodels were around, like Stephanie Samer, uh, Claudia Schiffer, uh, Leticia Costa. And I couldn't believe that I was actually sharing the runway with them. But I was chilling, you know, I had my friends there, Adriana, all the Brazilian girls. We were young, we were just excited to be there. I walked in on 17 Victoria's Secret shows. So when I first found out that I was gonna wear the fantasy bra, I was actually breastfeeding my son and uh, he was like a month old. It was like a big surprise and I had to get in shape and I had a beautiful bra. It was like full of flowers. It was like the flower fantasy one and it was just a great moment. Sometimes it's crazy to change backstage at the show. Like sometimes you literally got like three, four minutes and you have to be back on the runway. We do some rehearsals for the show, but we actually, we don't get to wear the whole outfit. We'll do like the shoe rehearsal to make sure the shoes are not gonna break or fall on the runway. We do wings and shoes, but no outfit. So there is a moment that I was uh, in one of the Victoria's Secret shows that Lady Gaga 
She performed and I think I went to hug her and we got stuck because my outfit was full of beads and things and her outfit also got tangled on oh my. So we kind of have to walk the runway like two backstage together trying to untangle our outfits and that was pretty funny. The big difference, you know, when they see us with the hair and all the makeup and looking gorgeous, you know, like there's a whole preparation before that. And sometimes like the hours, we start doing all this prep at like four in the morning and start shooting on the first sunrise and it goes all the way to sunset. So it's like hours and hours and it's a lot of preparation. And when they see us, they just think, oh, she just got out of bed and she looks like that. So there's a part in the book that I told Stuart, I'm like, let's go to Brazil and experience carnival. And that's me in Brazil being like full of sparkles. And you can really see that we had a great time. It was like four intense days of getting ready, showing up at the parades, you know, getting crowded by people and photographers. And, and just leaving that energy that it's amazing. All right, I love this outfit, but it's time to get into something more comfortable. Okay, so this is my final look, and it represents motherhood. It's something comfortable. We live in California, so it's a little bit boho. With motherhood, there's so many things I got to do, you know, like running around with the kids, and maybe things would get staying, and I know that these white pants are not the best, but they look good, so I'll give it a try. <laughs> so when I got pregnant, I was uh, very surprised, and I always dream of being a mother, so I was also, you know, like, beyond happy. But I also was kind of nervous, you know, like what would happen to my career after I had the baby. Like I had no idea what my body was going to go through. And uh, with all my clients, especially with Victoria's Secret, they were all very happy for me. And they totally like embraced me, you know, and they gave me the support that I need. With both of my pregnancies, I only had a few months to get back in shape. I love eating healthy and taking care of my body, but I don't like going through like crazy diets and stop eating, cutting everything off. I was eating really healthy because I was breastfeeding both of the times. And I, I went to the gym and I really had to work my <laughs> body a lot. It was kind of like being an athlete, you know, like I had my mindset for my goal and to get back in shape and, uh, and, and be back in that runway. Well, I feel like for models that want to have babies, you know, it's your life. You should do what you make, what makes you happy. If, of course, in our lives, we got to travel a lot. So sometimes I've missed a lot of times with my kids, but at the same time, I was very fulfilled having a career, having my kids, my family. It's all about the balance of both. Once you become a mother, you know, like you're more confident with your body, you're more comfortable with your body. And maybe that's why there's like some, you know, more intimate moments like posing nudes in the book. And that was all after I became a mother. Coming from Brazil, I just love being around nature and near the ocean, in the water. So that's my, when I feel confident and comfortable. Thanks, Glamour. This was so much fun. And make sure to check out my book, Alessandro by Stuart Shining.